If you're an architect, these seven AI tools in DeFi Render will change your workflow forever. These will help you render faster, design smarter, and impress your clients. So without further ado, right here, I have a project of my own, which I'm going to show you each one of these tools. This first one is the newest update, which is the smart planting. So if you go right here, you can click on the AI agent and the AI agent is a chat box in which you can type in exactly the type of landscape that you want in your model. So for example, we can do something like this. We can design a minimalist floralist garden primary foliage uh, we can take this off for example we can say uh, I don't know Canada it must thrive in sun drenched um, and maybe a continental climate okay so we're gonna click here and in just a few seconds the AI agent is going to come up with a planned schedule which we can upload in just one click onto our scene so as you can see, this is how fast it did it. We can click auto scatter and now we can select a, a surface in which we want this placed. So let's just click right here once and then we can click create and you will see how this will be applicable right on that surface. So now you can see how well D5 distributed the exact type of landscape that we would need in this type of setting exactly how we described it with a prompt. I mean, this is just insane how much time this saves and there's just so many use cases that you can apply this to. On top of that, this is the other AI feature that D5 offers is that you can basically export this as a plant scheduling. So I can just save this, for example, in my desktop. And then once that is done, you can see that you can open it as a spreadsheet and it actually has details on what kind of plant it is, with the exact naming, uh, the season, interest, light requirement, water requirement, and everything else. And this is so useful to get a quote from uh, someone who provides landscaping or any other process like that during the construction. And the other AI feature with an which is the AI assistant bot is that you can basically ask any question to the AI agent in regards to D5 and it will help you with it. So for example, you can type in the next feature, how do I use the AI PBR material snap? And if you just send this as a request in just a second, this will come back with an answer. So, Hey there, I'm happy how to do that. You can access the feature, select an area, generate materials. But the point being is that you can actually try this out with any type of feature that you need help with in D5. Now, on top of this, you can basically go over here at assets and I'm going to show you the next feature, which is the AI material snap. So basically what this does is you can upload a reference image from which you can select a material. So basically you can select a material from an image like this so i can just go ahead and i'm going to upload it and for example uh let's say i want this wood material i can basically specify it we can click on this uh, cursor icon and i can select this wood material we can click generate and this will generate a pbr high quality material that we can import immediately onto our model and in this instance we can basically try and um, upload it over here and we're going to try it out with a stone material as well so this is what it created i'm basically going to go ahead and apply it so i can click on that and i can apply it right here and as you can see now it has um, uploaded the material right onto the surface we can obviously edit it even after this is applied and this is very useful when we need something very specific we can also go back to the preview and we can select for example the stone material and i can generate this as well and we can try to apply that right here okay so now this is generated and we can basically go ahead and we can apply it so if you just click right here, you will see that the stone material is applied immediately. And you can see how useful this is. If you like a certain material in an image, you can basically just click on it and D5 will generate a PBR material out of it that you can apply immediately to your render. Now, next up is a new enhanced atmospheric mask. And for me personally, this is one of my favorite features. The reason being is that if you go right here, you can snap the current view and you can upload any reference image and it will match the mood based on that. And I have a few different images that I'm gonna try out here and they are 
all of them in a different mood. So for example, if we want a more gloomy image like the one right here, we can click generate and that type of mood will automatically be placed onto the render here. So now, as you can see, the, this is being applied slowly onto our render with a very similar mood to what we have on the image here. And let's see what the final result will be. Okay, so this is pretty close to what we had here as a reference image, especially the sky and the color grading. One thing obviously that still would have to be optimized here is the artificial lighting, which we have put in there automatically. And we can also change the strength here. So the strength slider, how much we want it to look like that and how much we wanted it blend in. So we can leave it at 50 for now and let's try another reference image. So I'm gonna go ahead and upload another one, which is a bit more bright and has some sun coming through and we're going to click generate. Okay, so now as you can see, just based on this image, it created a sunny mood as well. And obviously we can increase the strength on how much we want it to look like uh, the image here. Obviously, we will still have to optimize the glass and other stuff, but the point being is that the AI atmospheric match easily gets you to the point where you can iterate what kind of mood will look best. And for the final one, I'm gonna try a nighttime one. So this one, for example, and let's see how this one will turn out. I'm gonna turn on back the artificial lights since this will be nighttime. And let's see what kind of result D5 delivers for us this time. Okay, so you can see now that it applied the same mood as there. One thing that probably would need a bit more work is to make the sky look more dramatic, but overall the color grading and the mood is very similar. So this is without it and this is how it would look with more strength applied to it. Okay, so now what I would want to show you is that let's say we take an image, something from uh, the road like this. I'm gonna go ahead and add a scene here and here at the camera, let's make it 16 by nine, maybe increase the field of view a little bit. So, uh, and maybe that is too much, but let's say something like this. Okay, so now we go back to assets, let's go to vehicles, and I'm going to choose a random one, just a car, and I'm gonna show you how we can actually enhance everything in post-production. So, for example, let me just choose this one. And for example, we can leave it like this. And now I wanna export this render. I'm gonna show you the cool capabilities that D5 has in post-production. Okay, so once this uh, pop-up is appearing in your screen, you can basically go ahead and click AI post-processing. We're gonna go ahead and select the render here. And basically what we can do is we can go here to an effect, and we can do motion blur on this car right here to make it look like it has some movement. So first of all, let's specify the type of content that we want to add the motion blur to. So I'll just select everything from the car right here, even the lights. I'll basically go ahead and increase the weight. And as you can see, this automatically makes it look like it's in motion. We can also change the angle in which this is in motion. Uh, we can leave it downwards or we can leave it at zero. That way it is at horizontal motion but you can see this is pretty cool on how easily you can add such an effect in d5 now something else that we can do is we can also use the ai in painting which means that we can apply new skies water vegetation into our render without having to actually put it in the model so first of all let's see how we can change the sky here i'm going to go ahead and specify the content so we can basically choose uh, the sky right there for now um, and obviously it needs better mask and you can do that maybe with the post channels however just for showcasing purposes i'm going to click on this right here i'm going to click in painting and you can see in just a second how this applies a different sky to our existing render in the meantime while that gets rendered i'm going to show you how we can automatically enhance and make the render 10 times better with just one button and if you go here at the ai enhancer we can basically go ahead and put the enhancement weight all the way up and maybe the text your strength just a little bit upwards to maybe 0 0.5 and i'm going to click ai enhancer and then this will load up and give us a whole new image uh, based on what we already input on the render now something else that we can do as well is that we can also do a style transfer now all of these post processing capabilities are huge in d5 because if you go to realistic we can apply whatever type of mood that we want to on a render and i'm going to show you how we can apply these three moods because these are a bit easier to see so for example, the sunset move, uh, mood, we can basically make the structure matching weight all the way up. This means that the AI doesn't change anything about our walls or the way that uh, things are placed. It just basically makes them in a different mood. So for example, we can leave it at 0 0.8 and I'm going to load them up with three different moods here. So let's see first of all how the AI enhancer did. So this is the before image 
and this is the after. As you can see, this makes a huge difference in how everything is looking. And if we zoom in, especially in the vegetation, this is the before and this is the after. And also you can see the uh, wood cladding here, right? Now, this is super worth it to do in every single one of your renders. As you can see, it just took maybe 30 seconds and it elevated the render to a whole different level. Okay, so now as far as the style transfer goes, you can see that this is probably one of the favorites for me. I mean, I like all of them. I've been saying this the whole video, but this is the before and this is the after. Uh, the sunset kind of fall scene. And this just makes everything so easy to test out. And I mean, as you can see, it makes a huge difference and it's immediately visible. And we can see this as well with a spring um, style transfer that we did. It changes the color grading, it changes how the vegetation looks as well. I think this is incredible to show different moods and different seasons of the same project. So this is also the final style transfer that we tried out. This is the before and this is the after of the autumn slash fall style transfer. And once again, this matches everything so perfectly to the mood that we clicked on and then for the final one the end painting of the sky you can see how it changed everything so well so nicely done and i absolutely love all of these features especially these in the post processing because it just makes your life a lot easier to not have to go back to change things in the actual modeling or the render scene. If you want to boost your architecture workflow with these features, make sure to click the link below to try D5 out for absolutely free. And also, if you enjoyed this video, you can go ahead and check out my free crash course on D5 right here.